check out our merchandising store, visit shop.hellysimmer.com. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to have you with us for another edition. Without further delay, let's embark on this week's journey together. Welcome to the weekly flyby. Eagle Dynamics released their 2024 and beyond video. The video is narrated by Nick Gray himself in a very cinematic and dramatic way, loops through the current and upcoming modules and showcases Shishinook a few times. The Apache and the Polychop OH-58 Kiowa, which I am eagerly waiting for, also made an appearance. Mr. Gray indicates that 2024 quote unquote will see important new products and functionality coming to DCS. Both modern and World War two air assets are displayed in a video where there's nothing really new, with the exception of the confirmation of the IRAC map and the full fidelity Mi-29 Fulcrum A. Check the link in the video description to watch the full video. And we continue with Eagle Dynamics. While the 2024 and beyond video didn't bring a huge amount of new information, Eagle Dynamics released their newsletter where, among other things, they let us know the current state of the CH47 Foxtrot Chinook for DCS. The company states the following. Much of the 2023 CH47 Foxtrot work focused on the creation of the external model, cockpit slash cargo models, as well as systems and flight dynamics. The model now accurately reflects a US Army CH47 from the mid 2000s. Much of the work now involves the finalization of the flight dynamics and flight control system, along with the many multifunction display pages and subpages. As with all DCS aircraft since the KA50, the CH47 will have fully modeled electrical, hydraulic, fuel, and other systems that exist within the simulation as live systems to manage voltage, pressure, flow rates, temperatures, and all other operational systems. To support advancements in the DCS logistical system, the CH47 Foxtrot will also be equipped with cargo and sling management capabilities as well as defensive gun positions. The two upcoming desert maps are also mentioned in the newsletter, Afghanistan and Iraq, which are a welcome addition for those wanting to simulate scenarios in more recent conflicts. At the helisimmer.com shop, you will find a lot of different merchandising such as t-shirts, hats, mugs and even products exclusive to our members. Speaking of which, our store also features a membership option where you can donate to helisimmer.com monthly. Among other perks, members will have discounts on the entire catalog and even the previously mentioned exclusive products not available to anyone else as a special thank you. Visit shop.helisimmer.com to find more. We haven't seen any new helicopters coming from Vizky Labs recently, but the company has been busy updating its rotor wing catalog. The veteran R44 got another update and you can get version 3 right now. You can check the full changelog on our website, the link is in the video description. If you already own the Vizky Labs R44 for X-Plane, you should be getting an email with a link to the most recent version. If not, you can buy it right now. And a heads up, Vizky Labs is having a sale so you can get it at a discount. And Vizca Labs also updated the Tensor 600X, so they made the news twice as well. This update gets the Tensor 600X up to version 3.1, and its main feature seems to be the quote unquote optional 3D HUD display, which is designed for precision slash training purposes. This is an optional HUD, and Vizca Labs hope this will allow beginners to familiarize themselves with how the Tensor flies, while also having some advantages for the most advanced virtual pilots. If you already own the Vizca Labs Tensor 600X, it should update automatically through the auto updater once you load the aircraft in X-Plane. If you don't have it, you can purchase it at the Vizca Labs website, link is in the video description. If you're looking for a controller to bring along when you are on the road or perhaps something simple for when you cannot use your full hardware, your man may have the answer. The company released their controller, the Arrow, which while it looks to be just a gamepad, it's much, much more than that. The controller is sold at $249 and co-founder Thomas Neal says that, quote unquote, this has been a methodical journey to bring together all the familiar pieces of flight simulation hardware into an ultra-mobile form factor without compromising the virtual flight 
buying experience. He adds that Yaoman has achieved that and that they are excited to deliver it to the simming community. Daryl will work on Windows or Apple laptop, desktop or Android tablets as well and it comes quote unquote packed with everything virtual aviators need for the most advanced simulators. Yaoman suggests a few use cases for the arrow such as simming in a hotel room or coffee shops, use it with a VR headset for a compact experience, cast to a TV from a laptop and fly from the comfort of the couch, etc, etc. Right now, the Yaoman Arrow is only available in the US, but the company says that quote unquote, in the coming weeks the Arrow will be available for deliveries outside the US, pending international certifications. I am expecting one of these units to see how we could use it for helicopters, so stay tuned for a review. Tahiti and Windward Islands XP for Explain, of course, by Maps to Explain, will come with three heliports. And this will not be the only part of the entire product, as the scenery covers quote unquote Tahiti and all the Windward Islands of the Society Islands. Maps to Explain says the heliports have been implemented in exceptional details and that we should expect challenging approaches that give you the opportunity to prove your skills as an air medical helicopter pilot. There is no date of release set yet for this X. Plain 12 scenery, but Maps to Explain says it shouldn't be taking much longer for them to wrap it up and get it out the door. During the last couple of months, we have had a poll running on behalf of Saracen to find out which helicopter the community preferred and we have a winner. The AW109 Bell 212, Bell 412, EC155-AS355 and the UH60M were the contenders. Saracen asked us to rate them from 1 to 5 and out of this list, the helicopter with the highest score would win. 639 simmers responded to the call to action during these months and the community has spoken. The Bell 412 is going to be the next bird to be developed by Saracen for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have to say it was quite a surprise to me, especially because for some time the AW109 was at the top of the list, but eventually the Bell 412 surpassed it. And I have to say it wasn't a comfortable win, the Bell 412 and the AW109 were pretty much neck to neck on this one. But a winner had to rise and in this case it was the venerable veteran Bell 412. We should hear more about Saracen about this in the near future. X-Plane Aerospace released Rotor Creek back in 2021 and since then X-Plane helicopter pilots have been having fun with this challenging scenery. And now in 2024 X-Plane Aerospace is going to do the same for Microsoft Flight Simulator but they are not just replicating Rotor Creek. They are working on a completely new scenery called Blade Valley and they want us the community to provide our input on what should be added to this scenery. Until February 29, 2024 you will be able to respond to a few questions X-Plane Aerospace has for us on their survey. This has been done in collaboration with Halicimmer.com and its community, of course. The survey is not very long. It will only take you 5 minutes and it is important so x Aerospace can shape the scenery the way we feel to be the best for all our helicoptering. Check out the link in the video description to find how to give the company your input. I hope you found our insights into the world of helicopter flight simulation both enjoyable and informative. Don't forget to check out our playlist for more exciting updates. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care and fly safe. Oh,